Hi there, Joey Babineau here from dayjobhacks.com. Today we are going to go inside Propeller Ads platform and do a case study where I'm going to spend $500 on affiliate offers. I'm gonna show you precisely how to do this so that you can try to build your own profitable campaigns online. I'm gonna show you that it's not as easy as some people make it sound. There's a lot behind the scenes on these types of traffic sources. Now, Propeller Ads focuses mainly on push ads traffic. They have some pop ads options, and now what they have is what is called direct click traffic. That is what we're going to use today, direct click traffic. You can read all about it on their blog. I'm gonna show you a sample campaign, all of the steps you need to take if you wanna have a fighting chance at having success on these types of ad platforms, especially as a CPA affiliate marketer. Okay, all of that covered in this video, so let's get started. Okay, here we are at Propeller Ads. You can see here it is a performance marketing network, performance driven ad platform is what they say on their website. And they do have a bunch of information about themselves. And what you can see here on the blog is direct click your shortest way to the most engaged audience. Now it explains basically what this type of traffic is. And I've already put up some tests so that we have a little bit of data to work from as we continue this case study. And we're gonna go through the steps on how to make this traffic work for yourself. You see here that they have extra hot verticals for direct click campaigns, basically iGaming, pin submit, sweeps, extensions, utilities, and finance. So what we're gonna focus on today is utilities and we're gonna talk about app installs and that's what I'm gonna focus on in this video and what we'll do is show an example campaign. So the first step in making this work for yourself is really finding some affiliate offers and you need to be part of a CPA affiliate network. All of the stuff I described will be described in the description of this video. So make sure you look at the links there. There's some referrals um, as well to certain CPA networks. But the one we're gonna be looking at today, the two of them actually is Max Bounty and Zidu CPA Network, okay? So, so Zidu is connected with Propeller and then we have Max Bounty and the, what we're looking for here is an offer that would fit into something that would work well with this type of traffic because really the people are not really engaged. You're kind of catching them off guard. Same as push notifications. You're kind of, they're not really targeted people. You're looking for something that has mass appeal or something that people would think is legit and that they will put on through their phones or mobile devices. In that case, we're going to focus on utilities. Now the next step is of course finding the offers. So if you browse and search here, we can search for offers that we want to run. And in this case, we'll look at the category app installs, if they have it here, mobile apps here. Okay, so what we're gonna try and do is get people and we're gonna direct click them right to the app install page. Either you can direct link or you can create a landing page. I'm gonna show you both options and what happens when you try both of those, okay? So here you can see there's a whole bunch of offers. We're looking for something over a dollar per install is what I'm typically going for. And the one that I've chosen here is the antivirus cleaner here. Now the EPC isn't really great on this. Uh, it's likely because a lot of people are direct linking to it. And the only reason why I chose this is just because it's an example and I've already got it approved on the network. Now there's some other ones here. There's the finance app which might do well because again, when you look at their top traffic or their top offers here, they're talking finance. So you wanna look at offers from your CPA network that kind of relate to these main topics that typically are doing well based on the data that Propeller has, okay? Now, Propeller also offers you an account manager. If, you, if you're doing some spend, you can ask them specifically more information about how to target these people properly. Now that we know that we're looking for these types of offers, I'm not gonna go into too much depth on that because you probably already know how to do that. Now we want to talk about setting up our tracking. Now, if you're not using tracking for this, you are likely going to fail, so don't be lazy. Find yourself a click tracker. I use CPV Lab Pro. You can go to dayjobhacks.com slash CPV Lab Pro and get $50 off if you wanna use that. The link is also down in the description. Now there's other places that you can check out. Um, I'll leave a link down below for the top places you can check for a, cl a click tracker. But basically what you're gonna have is the ability to track all of your traffic 
when you go in here and start setting up your campaigns. By having a tracker, you can now see data like this inside your own platform that you can start to optimize. You can see here I've set up three tests already so that we can have a little bit of data to work with before we spend the remainder of the $500, which we'll do today. So you can see here I ran a test here, propeller case study. It had 5,000 visitors for a cost of $61. You can see the traffic is super cheap here and that is US traffic and we had 33 conversions. Now it was not profitable, but it was, you know, a something to start with. And I'm gonna show you how I would optimize that and how I would continue and I'll show you the ads and everything here in a second. But basically, we would not see this data if I was not using a tracking platform, okay? So you, first step, definitely get yourself a tracker. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, now we want to kind of spy and see what's actually working for people on these platforms. So the tool I would recommend here is Adplexity. You can see here I have both native ads and competitive intelligence. Uh, I have both native ads and push ads, active subscriptions here for Adplexity. If you want a 35% discount, I believe, on Adplexity, Go to dayjobhacks.com slash adplexity. Again, link in the description. And yes, these are affiliate links that I'm giving you. It helps me to support my channel. So of course, if you want to use my affiliate links, please do. Um, so here we are, adplexity. Go to push ads, competitive intelligence. And now we want to search the exact offers, the exact ads that are running on Propeller Ads platform, which you can do inside adplexity here. And I've gone ahead and set up my filters to include the keyword in the ad info called antivirus. And I've also come over on the left side here and selected the traffic source propeller ads, which is an amazing feature here. I can see what people are already running directly on this platform. So uh, what I wanna do now is find something similar to what I'm doing, but I'm going to be using direct click traffic so I don't really need any ads which is amazing you can actually just set up your link and fire away and hopefully it works but if you're going to use a landing page which i've done in this test you want to get ideas on what the landing page should look like here for your direct click traffic and i won't get into too much of the detail on this because i've already done a video on adplexity so you can check that in the description or i'll pop it up right here so that you can see that uh, if that's interesting to you so you can see here i did start a few case studies here just to get some data $157 so far actually generated roughly $70 in revenue. I didn't have that tracking properly, but it is tracking now. And you can see now that we have some conversions showing up inside Propeller Ads. This is important to get this tracking working properly. So start your campaigns. If you're not sure your tracking is working properly, start your campaigns at a low budget just to make sure everything's tracking properly so that you don't blast a whole bunch of money before you, you realize that your tracking isn't working. So what I've done here is I've connected the CPA affiliate network to my own tracker, which is connected to Propeller Ads. So all of the conversions are flowing from Max Bounty or Zidu into my tracker, which then sends the conversion into Propeller Ads. All that explained in their own training. So I'm not gonna cover that in this video because you can get all of that inside Propeller Ads on their blog, how to set up uh, conversion tracking. Okay, so <clears throat> I've tested in the United States and Australia, just to give an example here, if it was me and I, I wanted to do this long term, I would go further into the tier two and tier three countries and look for other traffic in those areas, which is massive amounts of traffic for a, a lot less cost per click, okay? But still the cost per click here is, is pretty impressive for this direct click traffic. So let's look at some of the data and then we're gonna set up a quick campaign and test it out and see what happens with the remainder of this spend. So by doing these campaigns, I'm able to get the data that I wanted to see what is working. And what I found was that the Max Bounty antivirus offer which paid roughly 144 was doing better than the offer I ran from Zidu that was only paying 52 cents in the US. When I set up this campaign, I found that the cost per uh, action targeting was too low at a 52 cent payout. So I had to get something above a dollar in order to have a fighting chance at making this profitable. So find offers with a little higher payout and still an easy conversion point, which is an app install in this case. Let's have a quick look at the data inside here at CPV Lab Pro. You can see this one <clears throat> was the last test it had. $61 in spend and roughly $17.16 in revenue, okay? 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to optimize based on many different factors. So when I set up the next campaign and duplicate the original on direct click on propeller, it'll be a, a better chance at having more success. And that's the way this is going to work. I'm going to find the data, start whitelisting and start targeting the things that are working and continue to build new campaigns and duplicating them until I find that winning combination. There's so many things you need to test here that it's not just as simple as going in and finding an offer and setting up a campaign and hoping it works. You really have to find multiple offers. You have to test multiple different settings, different browsers, different uh, devices, different countries. So for anyone to tell you this is easy, um, it, it is not easy. You really need to understand how to work your data, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna look at is the device, or sorry, the. Uh, I'm going to look at the operating system here and see what is happening right off the bat. You can see here Android. <clears throat> that is because I'm targeting Android and the offer targets Android. What I'd also look at is the version of this Android so that I can start seeing which one is converting. You can see Android 11 here is converting. I'm spending almost the same amount of money on Android 12, but it is not converting at all. So there is you know, half my budget almost went to a version of Android that wasn't converting. And these are the things you need to find. They're like the little tricks of the trade that you have to be able to find in your data so that you can turn your campaigns profitable. And a lot of people don't explain this stuff. It's the boring data stuff that nobody wants to talk about. All they do is flash their Lambos and say, look at my cool campaign. And they don't describe precisely what you need to be looking for so that you can turn this profitable. And these are the little things that you need to fix as you uh, continue to build your campaigns, okay? So another thing you would be looking at is eventually, uh, once you have more data, you're going to be looking at the target which is in this case, the placement on propeller ads. Okay, so you can see some here, 358 clicks on this placement and I got zero conversions. Another thing you can look at here is the browser and it all depends on what your traffic source allows you to block and optimize. In the case of propeller ads, they let you block pretty much everything and you can whitelist and all of that stuff. So it's great for that. You can block certain browsers and so if you see here a browser Chrome web view that's not doing well, you can block that as well. So once you start blocking all these things that aren't working and you start focusing on the things that are working, in theory, this should work well for you. Now that is not always the case. Sometimes you go in and make these changes, it doesn't work and you start scratching your head like what the heck is happening? Why is this not working for me? And that's just, uh, something that we have to deal with as marketers, but in some cases it means that the offer is dying out or the traffic source, you need to try a different country, all of these things that you're constantly working on. So it is not a set, set and forget kind of method of making money, especially when you're running these types of ads, you need to be actively engaged in looking at the data. So if you're going to be doing this um, and scaling it, you're gonna to want to have people on your team and you're gonna start testing multiple different scenarios. Another place you can get data is inside Propeller Ads itself. They have the ability to show you all of the data that they collect and it's another added feature that you can start using to optimize your campaign. Now the only problem is they only hold the data for the last 16 days here, okay? Um, so what you wanna do is make sure you save all of your data in your own tracking system like I have done myself. However, you can see here that they do show you platform information, operating systems, uh, devices. That's another one that you wanna look at in detail to see if there's a specific device that is actually getting a ton of uh, clicks but you're not really getting any conversions because that happens a lot. So you wanna make sure you focus on those areas, okay? And especially the mobile internet service provider, sometimes you can find some that are really just giving you a bunch of crap traffic. So those are the things you need to optimize when you're setting up your campaign. So now that we know a little bit of what's working, we wanna go in and we wanna create a campaign again, but this time I'm going to be using a landing page because that gives us one additional piece of information that you cannot collect uh, from these systems. By looking at your landing page click-through rates, you can actually increase your chances of um, success especially when you're running an app install offer where you don't wanna just send the traffic directly to Google Play Store and, and hope that they're just gonna install some random app, okay? You need to really focus on getting 
some kind of message to this person before you get them to try and install an app. So you're gonna get a quick landing page. Let me show you an example of that right now. So the landing page we're gonna use here is right here. It's install and update your Android antivirus shield 2022. This is what the people are going to see on their phone just randomly through this direct click traffic. So instead of them going directly to Play Store, they're gonna see this page first. They're gonna think that they need to update their Android software, so they're gonna click install, and then it's going to take them to the actual offer, and it's going to go to the Play Store offer, which uh, is this offer here, the DFNDR antivirus cleaner. Again, you're gonna to have to test multiple different apps to make sure this works, but what you'll now be able to do is see if people are actually clicking through the landing page, and that's a very important piece of data to tell you if your, your traffic is actually coming from real people or if it's just you know some random clicks from, from nowhere. Now to find more landing pages like this, you can just go back into Adplexity and find different landing pages. You can download them, you can upload them, up, ed edit them and all that stuff. So let's create our ad now and then we're gonna look at the data afterwards. Okay, so let's go into Propeller Ads now and let's create the campaign. Max Bounty Antivirus. USA okay so again if I was to continue testing this I would test multiple different countries next we're going to click on this one here which is the pop under and direct click you can also check out pop uh, push notifications and interstitial if you want and over here we're going to select direct click so this is going to send traffic from what they consider the top converting zones on their platform and it's going to provide direct visits to your offer. In this case, it's gonna be direct visits to my landing page. It's almost like running old pop ads where you create some quick landing page that people are gonna see, not some big long drawn out landing page for people. It's something quick like you do in a pop ad and then they're going to click there and go to the offer. Now you can also direct link, which they also recommend you do, but in this case, I'm gonna use a landing page. <clears throat> CPA goal here, I'm gonna select that. You can also bid by CPM and Smart CPM. These are things you're gonna to have to test later. Um, I'm not gonna keep, with $500, you can only do so much, okay? So I'm gonna test this and see what happens. I'm gonna put my target URL. That is the campaign URL from my own tracking system, CPV Lab Pro. I'll put that in there. And I'm going to be sending this information to my tracker, which is the device, browser, browser version, operating system, all of this stuff explained in the CPV Lab training. If you go and sign up for CPV Lab Pro, just search their training for propeller ads and they'll have a whole bunch of information on that. They have a traffic template that automatically puts all this stuff in for you. Again, I'm not gonna explain all that in here. Coming down, I'm going to select the country I'm focusing on, which is United States. And we are also going to set a CPA goal here of 1.25. I'm getting 144 for the offer. I wanna make a little bit of profit, hopefully. I wouldn't expect 100% ROI on this type of campaign, to be honest. Um, you, you just wanna make a little bit of profit here and try and get the data. And if you can, later on, maybe find higher payout offers or negotiate with your network to say, look, I'm getting these good uh, installs. I need two bucks uh, in install now, that, now that you actually see some conversions coming. Um, they might tell you to go fly a kite because your traffic sucks, but it's up to you to make sure that you get uh, good quality traffic. So hopefully in this case, it is good quality. I haven't had any problems or anything yet with Propeller, so everything seems to be rolling fine here. Daily campaign budget. Today we're going to set it at $50. Um, just for the first test here, I think it's gonna spend most of that in the, in the next few hours, uh, to be honest. And then I can come back and, and update it so that we have this video done. I'm gonna try and spend all of the money today. If, uh, if, if, if not, I'll spend the rest tomorrow. And we'll see what we have left for data. Uh, top total campaign budget, uh, well, we have $324 up. I'm not just gonna leave that empty for now in case we add more money later. Platform targeting, we're going to go with mobile because we want a mobile install, operating system, Android, and the version, remember, we don't want version 12. Maybe we'll just uh, focus on the one that was converting best. Let's see which one that was. We can see here, we had the most conversions with a 1% conversion rate on operating version, operating system version 11. We had a 0.79 and a 0.95, so 9, 10, and 11. Let's go 9, 10, and 11. Uh, device, we can do that later. Browser, we can do that later. And let's just do this again. We're not gonna limit any zones yet, but we may later do a whitelist 
Uh, if we find some zones that are really converting well, you can whitelist them and just run traffic on those. And we're not going to do any audiences yet. All of these features are great for, for this traffic platform. You can see you can really target down to what you want to do here. So I'm going to declare that and guarantee that my campaign meets the quality guidelines. And we're going to hit start. We're going to wait for the traffic to roll in. And then we're going to look at the data again. Okay, quick update here after spending that quick $50. It didn't last long. There is an amazing amount of traffic in the United States on Propeller. Uh, what I was able to gather here is some landing page data. As I mentioned earlier, landing pages are important because now you can see the click-through rate, the CTR here. You can see one landing page clearly outperformed the other one with a 3.63% uh, click-through rate, which to me sucks. I need to double that at least to make this profitable. Okay, but this is something to work with. This will become my new control page. I go in there and now I edit it. I have to split test pages constantly to make sure I can find a winning landing page. This one here converted twice as much as the other one. So now we need to work with this and try and tweak it and find out why that worked. I'm gonna continue spending more and making some more changes. I just want to give that quick update and I will come right back once we get some more data here. One second. Okay, this is the last update. It is the next day. I let this run and I want to give it one more update and then the key takeaways you can learn from this case study if you want to try out this type of traffic, okay? Very important stuff I'm going to mention here in a second. So uh, after I updated the landing page yesterday, I reset the stats on CPV Lab Pro so we could get a clear indication of what's happening now. You can see I did get more conversions. I dropped my losses a little bit, but my ROI is still in the negative. Um, strangely, today is actually in the positive, but it's uh, uh, not very good because I've only got one conversion so far today. You can see uh, I spent a dollar, or I got a dollar fifty-two in revenue or whatever, and it's one forty-four. Um, pretty much breaking even here now. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk about what I've learned here and what I want to explain as we try and make this profitable and what you should be doing if you want to try and make this type of campaign profitable, okay? Um, so first, let's look at the new landing page. This is key because I think this is an important metric you need to see here. Uh, when I swapped out the landing page to the new landing page, uh, I changed the landing page a bit based on the, the data that we got just recently. And let's just go down here. And look, you can see this page here, the new one. This was the original control that was doing really well. That was double the conversion rate of the previous test. Then I switched out page two, reset the stats, and you can see this one is converting, uh, again, a double conversion rate. And what I've done to change that is I've tweaked the landing page again. And you can see here um, what I've done is I've, ch I've changed the image here. Now, I'm not breaking any terms that I can think of uh, in terms of the propeller ads, terms of service, where you're not allowed to make it appear that you're, uh, that somebody's phone is actually having viruses and stuff. What I'm actually saying is, notice, antivirus protection is recommended. That is not saying, notice, you have, you have viruses on your phone, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm actually just saying things that are like an ad protect your phone from increased security threats. Now, one of the big things I did is I added Android antivirus protection and I'm targeting Android and I branded the actual site. So I think that gives it a little more credibility and that's why people are installing it rather than the other landing page that didn't have DFNDR security on it and it didn't say Android antivirus protection. It was just kind of like, hey, you need to install this antivirus and people are just like, no. And I also brought the install update now button above the fold so if you're on a mobile device you would actually see this install update now which i thought would increase the, the click-through rate but in fact the click-through rate is still hovering around the same as the control page however with the higher conversion rate that means i'm building credibility and that is how you need to optimize these campaigns so i'm going to talk talk about some key takeaways here um, you can see i'm starting to narrow the gap between my spend and my revenue and that is the key to making these campaigns work now if i was to continue on in this campaign one of the biggest changes i would make here is i would be switching out offers okay i really don't like the offer i'm running here the name dfndr security just to me doesn't sound credible it's just some weird string of letters and if i was on my own phone i would not be installing this app so what i'm going to say is if you're going to be running antivirus security 
I would look at these branded offers. You can see just from the data at Adplexity that that is what people are doing. They're running McAfee, they're running Norton, okay? These are the two big brands. If you're gonna find these types of offers, go to CPA networks out there that have those offers and then start trying what I just showed you where uh, you're gonna try and get a, 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 either a branded app install or you're going to try and get a nice converting uh, security software that is branded so that people when they pull it up on their phone they already know okay well this looks legit okay this is definitely a, a software that I want to put on my phone to protect my um, computer or whatever it is now maybe they don't have mobile versions of this so you're gonna have to look for nice uh, offers and test them and I would be definitely checking out the uh, countries that these people are running and don't just go for the United States which is high c competition and you can see from my stats that uh, the cost per click is a little bit higher in these areas now let me just talk quickly about propeller ads and why I would recommend definitely trying these ads first of all I think it's a great testing platform it's super cheap for clicks you can get a lot of traffic from major countries like tier one tier two and you don't have to spend a lot of money testing. And as you can see, I can test landing pages for a, uh, a lot less than I'd have to spend if I, was, if I was running the same campaign on Google Ads or on Google Display. Now I can test my landing pages using a traffic source like this, and maybe I can turn it profitable right here, or I can use this as a testing platform and spend some of my budget trying to find landing pages a lot, uh, winning landing pages for a lot less, okay? And I can maybe get a outsourced a helper who can come in here and start testing things for us, testing ads, testing ad copy for much less cost. And uh, that's what I think this platform would be great for. Also, I really think you can turn uh, campaigns profitable. I've been running profitable push ads and native ads for years. Um, I've been running different verticals, all the same ones that are on their blog here. So check out their blog and read up on it and you'll definitely be able to find a vertical that works. Again, I would recommend higher payout offers, a little higher than a dollar, um, unless you're going into the tier two countries. Now, if you have any more questions regarding push ads or native ads, don't forget to check out my free training at dayjobhacks.com. Uh, there's also a link down in the description for our other uh, media buying training that you can get access to as well. And don't forget to like or share this video. If you have any questions, I'll be responding to comments below. I uh, hope you enjoyed that case study and got a little bit of insight into, into how you need to run these ads and look at your data and really track things so that you can have a better chance of success.